Hey what's up guys, Mashan here, coming back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about some of the cases I believe have the best growth potential moving forward here, and as we're seeing a lot of cases start to go up pretty quickly in price, it's definitely a good time to potentially hop on in and make yourself some potentially easy profit. You know, it's not always guaranteed or anything is ever going to be easy. However, when the market is like this, it's usually one of the best times to make some quick dollars. But before we hop on into it, if you guys are looking to pick up any CSGO skins or cases using some real money, I've got a couple links in the description and let's hop on into it. First up here, we got to define what we're talking about here. So I'm going to be going through pretty much all price ranges here. However, just note that buying one case at 10 cents for you to get even a dollar, it has to 10x in price. To make money, at least with this way, you're definitely going to need to have a decent amount of capital to start. That doesn't mean you can't invest for a dollar or five dollars or whatever you're looking at. Just note that the more money you put in, the better return you're going to get out, theoretically. Starting off with our super cheap cases though, we've got the Prisma case. Now the Prisma case is not a case I expect to move in price for a long time. It's not going to reach 15 cents anytime in the near future, maybe potentially a year out. However, it's your best option when you're looking at these cheap cases. A lot of cheap cases right now are the ones that are in the active drop pool. You've got cases like Prisma 2, Danger Zone, Fracture, Snake Bite. Those are all really cheap and they're all in the active drop pool leading to the fact that they're probably not going to go up in price while they're in the active drop pool that's very uncommon and not something you should be going for now the prisma case is currently sitting around that seven to eight cents area which is not terrible for a case that's in the rare drop pool you gotta understand that this case is in the rare drop pool and that's the reason you'll be investing into it is the thought that there's not going to be a ton more of these out there However, there still is a lot of these out there, and that's one thing that's going to make the price very slow to move, is there was over a million of these listed when it got put into the rare drop pool, and the unboxings of these have more or less decreased slightly. They haven't gone up, and something that's really important that you know is that this case is going to take a while to reach a significant amount of growth. With all that being said though, I think it's definitely a good option if you've got not a lot of money in the bank here. It's the cheapest case we're going to talk about here. And it's honestly something that you should have whether you've got a lot of money or a little money. When cases are so cheap like this, you can buy so many of them and it goes up one cent here. That's a quick 10-15% gain. Next up for our cheap cases, we got the revolver case. Now the revolver case is honestly one I see a lot of potential with. The biggest potential here is with the knives. The knives are super hard to get to at this point. Your next cheapest option is the Vanguard case or some case that is over a dollar. The Vanguard case is sitting at like 85-ish cents. That's your best next option other than the revolver case here. So the revolver case is definitely a really good one to go for if you believe these knives will go up in value. It's one that the skins inside are not the greatest. No one's going after the R8 revolver fade. It's pretty cheap and the R8 is not the greatest skin. However, if you think that, you know, you're a big fan of Monzi, potentially, but I think the revolver case definitely has a lot of potential with or without that R8 buff. I don't think there's anything big coming for the R8 in the future. However, that would just be icing on the cake here for the revolver case. Moving into a little bit more expensive cases, we got the Spectrum 2. Spectrum 2 is definitely on the cheaper end of the medium cases. But here, I still see a decent amount of potential. It's going to be coming once again with those knives. And those knives, particularly looking at the butterflies, need to be increasing in value or at least increasing in demand at this point. It's still not a bad case to open for what you're going to be getting. It still has that AK-47 Empress, which is one of the better looking skins. And I think this one definitely has a lot of potential, especially if we're going to see that butterfly hype continue. We've seen a lot of butterfly knives continuing or at least keeping their price especially when you're looking at those sapphires and rubies that's something we really need to see and it's something we are seeing and therefore i think the spectrum 2 case definitely has that potential to rival with its brother the spectrum case after that we've got the gamma cases now both of the gamma cases you're going to be going in for similar reasons to the spectrum 2 case here now i don't particularly choose one gamma case or the other i'm invested in both of them i don't see a huge difference either way 
you're going for the knives here at the end of the day and I think both of them do offer some pretty good options and at the price point it's sitting it's not terrible and this is one that can rise relatively quickly as we've seen it go from 35 cents to 45 cents in just a short time period after that you know I gotta include my boy the shattered web case shattered web case has been one I've been pulling for since day one you already know I've got like 500 600 of these it's about 10% of my overall portfolio in CSGO, and it's one I honestly am still believing will become an expensive case down the line. Right now, it's sitting at around that $1.20 mark, which is definitely good considering it was stuck on a dollar for a long time. Mainly what you're going for here is it does have four brand new knives that can only be found in the fracture case but you're mainly going for the discontinued case here. There's only five cases that have been discontinued in CSGO's career, and the other three that have been out for a long time currently sit at $4, $4, and $30. So I think there's definitely a lot of profit to be made here. It's just going to take some time. Finally, then we get to our big baller cases or the expensive cases, whichever you prefer here. One important thing we do need to note is when we're talking about the expensive cases like the Bravo case here, for it to go to $40 to $45, that's a $5 increase. That's the same as when we're talking about our Prisma case case going from $0.08 cents to $0.09 cents when we're looking at it percentage-wise. The Prisma case actually does better there. So these ones are going to be more of your safe, slow growers. I think it's definitely good to have some of these in your portfolio because they usually are a little bit more stable and with lower demand and lower supply. I think they're definitely going to be very good. There's a lot of lower demand here just because not everyone can buy a $40 case. However, there's an extremely low supply of a lot of these. As you can see, we've got five cases that have under a thousand on the market. And although I definitely recommend all of these, there really is some better than some others. First up here, I want to talk about the amount that is disappearing off the market. Quantity is a huge factor here, and if you remember to the last CSGO investing bubble we had almost about 8 months ago in that June-July, we're definitely talking about the Esports 2013 case, because that case had under 100 listed on the market, and its price started to definitely go up extremely quickly. That's one thing we want to watch out for CSGO investing as a whole, is when the demand skyrockets and the supply dwindles very quickly. It's what we saw with the glove case and the breakout case. All those peaks happened because there was no more supply on the market. One big thing here is we're looking at three main cases in these top five. The Hydra case went away 17%, or rather 17% disappeared off the market in the past four days. Then we've got the Bravo case, which is about 10 to 12% has disappeared off the market in the past four days. And then the Weapon 2 is down around 8% in quantity in the last couple days. If you're going to go with any of these, I'd definitely stay away from the CSGO Weapon case. Number one, it has such a high price point. $45 is way too much to be investing into one case that isn't the Bravo case potentially. But that's really all I have for today, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.